we're back and we're going to talk about unreliable public transport over the Chinese New Year weekend. Did you have such an experience, Vivian? Oh, you know, I hardly take public transport, but I did see that there were a lot of buses that were jammed around Chinatown and there were some people, lots of people actually, waiting at the bus stops. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, Stomper Audrey was not so lucky. Do you know, she said that she was kicked out of a taxi in the pouring rain just because she did not have exact small change for the fare. She claims that the taxi driver refused to drive her to shelter before insisting she get <laughs> off, even though it was raining really heavily. Stomper sympathized with Audrey and were not at all pleased. A whopping 72% of Stompers were enraged. Stomper's slow handle had some harsh words for the driver. As a cab driver, he should know that not all passengers have small change and they themselves should get ready some coins and small notes just in case the passengers only have big notes. What he did is unacceptable. What if he did it to tourists? Sure to bring Singapore a bad name. In another case of cabbies behaving badly, Stomper Raja was shocked when a cabbie at Upper Serangoon Road drove off just as the passengers were about to board the cab. Said the Stomper, the family standing before me went to the taxi in the queue. As they were about to open the taxi door, the taxi driver rode away. Just then, I realized he picked up a call as the family was about to board the taxi. Is this allowed? Another incident that got Stompers talking this week was Stomper Benzico's story about waiting for service number 143 at Somerset. The bus never came even though its scheduled time was 1.04 a.m. Finally, the SBS Transit website indicated that the service Uh was not operational at about 12.43 a.m. In the end, the Stomper had to pay for a taxi home. The Stomper said that when he went online to check the bus timing on the Iris website, he found out that the last bus had departed. The Stomper said, I was very upset and annoyed as I had to pay 10 times more for a cab instead. I don't believe that the last bus could have departed more than 20 minutes earlier. I will not trust the bus stop information panels again and I hope the relevant authorities would understand the frustration of missing the last bus. Well, I hope his humpals covered his taxi fare home. I must say that I use the Irish site very often and I have had good experiences so far. What about yourself, Shivan? Uh, well, yes, I also use it and I think it, they have been almost accurate in all instances. Yeah. yeah. Next up, we find out what stompers think about boys carrying their girlfriend's bags. Stay tuned.